Hello everyone, I want to welcome you and walk you through the new Hantevi application. All this is is a new installation. So right here you'll see that I have the old installation at the top and what I'm going to go ahead and do is just remove that uh, installation so that all I see is the new installation and let me make sure that the data sync is updated for this demonstration um, I don't have great service right now so it might take a minute uh, but when you do this when you first um, log into your hand heavy you might see a few different screens you might see the ability to add an installation here like you get there uh, or you might see just uh, your normal home screen with a hamburger menu up here in the top uh, as I'm looking at it the top right corner um, okay now my data synchronization is complete uh, and you'll see the your normal home screen let me go ahead and remove these patients so that it's not too cluttered uh, now you can see the version that I have on the bottom right 2022 version 5.1.1 that's what you should be seeing when you have the new installation but if when you open your app this is the screen that you see hit this hamburger menu settings and that's how you get to the new uh, installation screen so you can add an installation right there and when you add this installation all you have to do is enter j-e-s-s-a-m 5236 for both the user and the password and that will also be located in an email so let me go back here um, so I'm going to enter this current installation add a new patient and just to make sure that we can see everything uh, I'm going to select adult <clears throat> now this is what you're accustomed to seeing when you first enter the age all of the medications here uh, and you'll see that our new medication should be on here and our new medication dosages. If you find an issue with any of these dosages, then please uh, make sure that you let myself or uh, Matt White know. Uh, you'll see you've got Toradol here. Uh, you can select IV, IO, IM, the dose. And there are certain notes for certain medications. So for geriatric patient, this is IM only. Uh, and for uh, Versed, uh, there's no special notes here, but you have all of these routes that you can give it. All right, now the cool thing about this is I can filter all of these medications by protocol. So if I select protocols, and let's just go to the respiratory section. Uh, this first item here, that's just the cover page, but it doesn't hurt to select it. I can select all of these if I've got a respiratory patient that I'm taking care of hit apply what it's going to do it's going to list the medications by protocol so I can see for bronchospasm these are all the medications that I can give pulmonary edema these are the medications that I can give and it also has checklists associated with certain medications so if it has, hopefully you see my tap here, if it has this clipboard or checklist icon, then that means that there's a checklist. So this summarizes what we should accomplish when we're taking care of this patient. Um, and it also has key considerations there. So I'll select done on that. I can also view this individual protocol for bronchospasm. If I select PDF, I can expand that. Um, and then I could just see the full protocol. Um, now this just shows the medications, not the drips. So if I switch to drips, you'll see that now it's just showing the drips, whereas before it was not showing the drips. I can still view the checklist, okay, and I can still view the individual protocol. Uh, you'll see for pulmonary edema, there's our IV nitro. We added some notes in here for IV nitro. Um, and this is a sliding scale, which you'll see with some medications. So what we did with nitro 
is we start it at 50 uh, and then go up in 25 mics per minute intervals. But note that if the systolic is greater than 160, you'll start at 100 mics a minute. So we would start here. IVIO is the same, and you can select given there, and it lights up green. Now I can view the full list of the protocols if I wanted to just uh, choose the filter section, right, which I did here. I can remove these filters, doesn't matter, or I can leave them. But then the top right up here, you'll see the PDF. And if I select that, then that views just all of the protocols. And these should all be hyperlinked if you wanted to get to a, a protocol quickly. But I still believe that the quickest way to view an individual protocol is if we just use a drop down menu and select whatever we need. So for like insulin infusion, I can apply that. And there's not going to be any medications under here or drips, uh, but I can just quickly view the PDF for the insulin infusion monitoring. All right. Um, so that should cover most of the protocols. Um, and you still have your start CPR feature here. And then uh, that should pretty well cover it. And if you have any questions on the new Hantevi app, please let me know. We're going to work on getting these updated on the mobile computers uh, or on the mobile phones and on the laptops. And uh, ESO will also be updated with the new protocols. Please continue to review on Shift. Uh, and let me know if you all have any questions. Thank you.